Good morning, modern statters. Boy, is it foggy out this morning. Uh, starting to clear off now, but whew, you couldn't see two feet in front of you a little while ago. I had to wait to go out milking so we could see outside. Look at all them apples that fell in the rain. I don't know about where you are, but it's starting to get darker earlier and stay darker later in the morning. Oh. Good morning, pigs. That's a sure sign that pig harvesting season is coming up. There you go. Can't believe how wide pork is getting. Whew. Come on and figure out. Yeah, come on in, mister. You ready, Willow? There you go. This weather staying darker later and getting darker earlier. It's got me thinking we need to get power. I shouldn't say we have power out to the barn. We need to get our barn wired up for lights and for outlets. I'm not sure what I want to use for lighting yet. If you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments down below. And the other thing I've been trying to figure out is do I just run wire or do I run the wire in electrical conduit? You know, like the small three quarter inch metal conduit. I want to go with LED lighting for out here at the barn in the workshop. I'm just not sure what style of LED lights we should get. If you know of a good brand or a good style, have any good recommendations, leave them in the comments down below. That's going to be a project we'll be starting shortly. That means you too, Buttercup. We gotta go outside. It's nice out. Put your water out here. You liking the new design of the feeder? Huh? It's keeping a lot more hay inside. Good morning, little pea. We made an update to our feeder yesterday. It's really working good now. You're silly. She's silly, huh, Willow? Yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah, you, little pea. Yeah, you. Want a pot of an apple, Willow? wasn't supposed to rain today and here it is raining out right now <sighs> no rain in the forecast <laughs> we ended up getting an inch of rain yesterday the nice part about that is all of our rain barrels for our animal self-watering systems are filled up guys that's a good thing A little chilly out this morning, and then everything's gonna be wet. All the rain we got yesterday. At least it's not raining. I know. So we're gonna start by siding the back as much as we can, and then we'll get the siding on the front, and then we can start cutting our roof rafters for the roof. Maybe we can get some of the roof rafters up today, but we'll see. Actually, surprise, there's not more puddles in the tarp. We'll just go this way. All right, so take these two for starters. You know what? Yep. Yep. 
And there was another one somewhere else too. What's that? I'm just gonna go set them over here for now. That should be. You got another horn worm? Yeah, sitting on a board waiting for you to bring to the chickens. Somebody said the hornworms come from the apple trees. No wonder why we have so many hornworms. I don't really think I have that many. Hmm, it's kind of a small one. Oh. It's just got it curled up. Don't touch it. Why not? Ah. How old the chickens know what you have? They're like, who's going to get ah. it? Oh, the duck got it. He's gone. Gonzo. There he goes. Happy, happy. It could be this one. And then, I'm not sure what this one's left over from. That's more siding. It's a 10 inch, so we can use that on the front somewhere. Believe it or not, I believe there's seven pieces of siding right there for the back because they're so short. So we just got to double check our measurements and I'll get those all cut. If you want to get out, I believe, and there's the two by fours under that black tarp. We're going to have to put the two by fours up like we did on the back wall and side walls over here. Okay. So, so 54, 5 eighths. 54 and 5 eighths. Gonna set the depth before we cut two boards. That would not be good. We have half the siding. Half. No, that's what I thought we had. All right, so when we set our siding, we want to have the top of the siding flush to there. 
All right, you want to come over and nail this one? You want one here? You can. What's that? Bugs. I know, they're bad. Last one. That's it. That's the road. It's all we've got here. We got more coming. When they deliver the roof material, we'll get more siding material. <laughs> Gotta trim this back before we forget. <laughs> I think we can get this one up and get it marked. Nail it. We have a bunch of stuff sitting over here from the barn build we haven't used oh, yet. Where That's where you saw all the stuff. Just talking the other day, we had a bunch of wood over here we can use for little pieces. Looking for 10 inch at least, and these are 12s. Well, that's perfect. One, two, I like it. I'm gonna grab the nail gun. I'll put this one up. It's gotta look so nice when it's we got it all trimmed out. It changes the look of all of it. What's that? Yeah, it's gonna look so nice. The main building of the firewood shed is a kit that we got from Jamaica Cottage Shops. I'll have a link in the video description down below with a 10% off promo code. And then the carport area that we're building right now is something that we're doing. It's actually been nice because we've had to buy very little lumber. Some of the beams are parts of the skid that the whole kit got shipped in. And then we've had leftover lumber from the post and beam barn kit. So they able to use some of that. So that's really been awesome. We've been able to save a lot of money by using bits and pieces left over.
You're itching. No, I was trying to get it in my pocket. The porch looks so nice wet after they've been sitting out in the sun for a while. Nail gun for now. So if we go five inches, it'll be perfect. By 59, the short end. I want to do a 22 and a half. 22 and a half. Half. That's ready to go. 58, 5 eighths to the short point. And this one's going to be, should be 30. It's got 30. Long to long. So 30. Long to long. Be 30 inches again. Yeah, 30. So now we need to go long. 30. Just tacking? Yep. All right, this one. Old Zeke is being noisy this morning. You give him head? Yep. 64 and seven, uh, 63 and seven eighths. I wonder if he's getting in the rut and if he knows one of the girls are in heat, if that's why he's calling out to him is my guess. Three seven eighths to long point. Is it just a Packing it? Um, no, yeah, just put one right there for now for one minute. All right, and then you got it. Yeah. 
I got it. And then if you go down to that end, I'll pull it out, make it flush for you. All right. Cool. One in for right here for now. Right here. Yep. This board we're just putting up temporary because I might have to take it down and change it out when we trim up the front of the carport. 66 and an 8. Gonna put these two two by fours right on this wall. I'll wait till you're done before I tap the next one into place. Chilling. <laughs> what do you see, Al? <laughs> no chewing my pants. He's loving it. <laughs> I think I know why they're so talkative. I think Hope, Blossom, and Willow are in heat. Oh, what do we oh we got some heat. I seen a bunch of tail wags yeah. over there. The only one I didn't see tail wagging. Yeah. The <laughs> Goes Willow. There you go too, Buttercup. All four of you are in heat. And I just saw Buttercup do a bunch of tail wagging. You did too? Yeah. they're all are. I think they're all in heat. All the bigger girls are. You like the door for the Kubota? Yeah. Hope hears you. She sure does. Oh, look at the Marnock butterfly. Hey, I've actually thrown it over oh. here enough times that they would it that they ate all the apples. Yep. Oh, it flew away. It did fly away. Yeah, that's good. Don't touch the fence. Yeah. 
You got a full round belly full of hay in there, mister? Yeah. I bet you do. I hear Figaro somewhere. Oh, there he comes. I heard meow. Meow. I heard the dog. I heard the dog. You're dead. Hey, Figaro. Okay. How do you girls like the new feeder, huh? Looks less wasteful. Hope says, I don't like it. Oh, they love it. Is that hey, good blossom? Blossom. Blossom. Buttercup, you must really like that hay if you don't want little man getting some. Ah, oh, that hay feed is working so good. It's keeping the hay in. Sorry, chickens. Oh, I'll need your scoop. I forgot to bring out the basket. Again? Again, I know. I say 15. I say 14. So we have... Why did you already count them? No. Seven. Nine. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. You counted them already. No, you didn't. Okay, good job. It always amazes me how much trim work you can clean everything up and just make the whole project look so nice. It's like, oh wow. It just looked hideous a minute ago and now I cover up all the edges all the little weird spots and it looks beautiful. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys. I wanted to leave you with this today. The best piece of advice I got one day was invest in yourself. And that doesn't always mean like money wise, but that means invest in your education, invest in always learning and striving to do more. Instead of if you have money and you want to invest it in the market, invest it in something that you know will work out for you, whether that's education whether it's audiobooks, it's tools to learn how to do something, you are your best investment. I've lived by that my whole life and just a little here and a little there, a little extra knowledge gain goes a long way. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys. Whatever it is you want to do, I know you got it in you to do you. To do it. <laughs> Uh, so thanks for coming along with us guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.